Hi, this video is for Wood River High School parents. I'll show you how to log into Schoology using your parent account to check your students' grades and course information. So you'll first go to Schoology.com, that's S-C-H-O-O-L-O-G-Y.com. And when you go to Schoology.com, you'll click on Log In. If you're associated with a student in Skyward, your parent email address will automatically be imported into Schoology and an account has been created for you. So you just click Log In and you'll go to the Log In screen. And this is where you need to enter in your parent email address from Skyward, uh, as well as the password. By default, the password is WRHS11. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in the parent email address here for my sample student and then WRHS11. As soon as I log in, it will give me an overview of the students' courses and their activity. So we see two tabs here, one that says enrollments. This will just give me an overview of the students' grades, show me which courses they're in. And then there's a link here to student activity. This would be any kinds of announcements or uh, assignments that have been submitted and so forth. Uh, there's also on the right hand side uh, a section that shows recently graded materials as well as an overdue list. So this would be any assignments that have been marked overdue in the system uh, that the student hasn't submitted where the due date has passed and the teachers marked them incomplete uh, or if it's a digital assignment uh, submitted in Schoology it'll automatically appear there if it's not submitted on time. As I scroll down, there's also upcoming. So this would be any calendar events or assignments with due dates that are coming up in the next few days. This is a helpful tool for helping your student plan ahead and make sure they're completing their work on time. Up at the top, there are some tabs. There's courses. If I click on the courses tab, it just brings me to the courses where the student is enrolled. And I can click on any of those courses to see more information. So if I click on biology B, this is the biology B course. Um, I can actually get some uh, access to the students' grades there and uh, look at other information as well about uh, assignments in the course and so forth. I can also go to groups. This is the second tab at the top there in the dark blue bar. Uh, groups would be any student groups that the student is enrolled in that are built within Schoology. And then lastly, there's a tab that says grades. So if I click on the grades tab, it gives me the option to see the grade report or the mastery grade book. Uh, for most parents, you'll use the grade report. And what that'll do is it'll bring up a screen where you can see the drop down grade books for all of the classes. So if I click on Biology B, it will show me all of the assignments for that class and all of the students' grades and feedback that have been entered into Schoology. Uh, with these lab skills assignments, for example, there's a rubric attached. I can see what that rubric is. If teachers add any comments or anything, they'll show right here in the grade book as well. And then also the overall grade. So the initial view gives me the grade in the course, but if I want to see uh, how the student has done on individual assignments or if they're missing work and so forth, I can open the actual grade books right from the grades tab. I can also download a student report. Uh, this would be a one-page document that would just list their classes with all their grades as well if I want to print that off or need to submit it for something. Over here on the right-hand side is the calendar function. So if I click on the course calendar, this would be a calendar that's going to show any due dates, any assignments, any announcements that have been posted for the student's course. So I can click on any of those if I want to know more about them. For example, this check on protein structure here. If I click on that, oh, it won't let me access it because I'm in a different account, but uh, any announcements or assignments, you can click directly from the calendar. And then I can also go up here to the far upper right hand corner and I see my student's name. Right? My student's name is Dan VH. When I click that, I'll see my parent accounts listed. And then down at, toward the bottom, there's a link to settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on settings. When I go into settings, uh, it'll bring me to the account settings tab. This is where I can check that the email address is correct. I can also change the password on this screen if I would like. And there's also a notifications tab. So if I click on notifications, this allows me to turn on an email summary that will notify me uh, either on a weekly or daily basis of how my student is doing in their classes and so forth. And you can see you can set the daily or weekly uh, setting there. You can set which time and which day you want. The overdue submissions email is another feature. This would notify you anytime something is not submitted in Schoology on time, uh, which works mostly for digital types of assignments. So I'm gonna save those changes when I make them. And now I'll receive those notifications at whatever time I set. Hope that's helpful and thanks for listening.